Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Butch Shorak. It's Options University, and it's Monday, November 19th, 2012. Access to this webinar is for educational and informational purposes only. Nothing contained in this video, website, or promotional material constitutes a promotion, recommendation, solicitation, or offer of any particular investment security or transaction. Options University provides educational services that are meant to teach you the risks and rewards of trading stocks and options, and we're not a service that tells you what to trade. We are not implying or guaranteeing any profit. As always, do not trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. And with that thought, let's go ahead and take a look at what we had happened during the last uh, week. It was an interesting week in the market, and we had a number of different uh, um, uh, important uh, economic indicators that came out uh, started on Wednesday with pursu uh, producer price index, retail sales, business inventories. We then looked at Thursday and we saw we had consumer price in in index, which came out basically flat, but jobless claims, Empire State Manufacturing, great deals of disappointments as we looked at last week's uh, economic announcements. Next, we come into a shortened week because of Thanksgiving. Let's see what we've got coming up in the next week. As we look at on Monday, we have existing home sales coming out at 10 o'clock. Uh, we come to Tuesday. We've got housing starts at 8.30. Nothing much else happening throughout the day. Uh, Bernanke speaking at 12.15. And then we see we go to Wednesday where we have jobless claims, which will usually occur on Thursday. But because of the, uh, the holiday, uh, we'll be seeing that early on Wednesday at 8.30. we got consumer sentiment coming out at 9.55. And so... There are a few things that are coming out this week as far as uh, economic announcement. Thursday, everybody stay home. Thank the Lord for the wonderful world that we live in and nothing much happening on Friday. November 23rd, as we work our way towards the end of the year, sitting in this fourth quarter, which should be a great quarter, but it looks like we're having post-election blues. As we look at the um, uh, economy, we see that there is only one way that it's been going, and that is in a downtrend. We've come down to support. We hit that 1345, and we see that on Friday, uh, we ended up with a little bit of a move to the upside. We'll look at that in greater detail as we look at a magnified view. So we are in a down cycle, in a downtrending market. We are spending time below the 30 and 50 day moving average. No Notice we had our cross take place there where the 50 to 30 crossed over the 50 to the downside. We broke through that 200 day moving average. So from a macro view in the overall market, it looks like we are not looking very strong in the market. Typically we see a uh, holiday week that usually ends up being a pretty uh, decent week, usually ends up being a positive week. And notice how many days in a row we've had to the downside. All right, so as we look at it, we see we've got one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight days that we've had a downside except for Friday where we ended up with a higher high and a higher low. First time that happened in a week. So that is for many of us a buy signal. It is confirmation of a reversal and we'll see how we look at as we look at Monday morning and see how the market comes in and what it does. Let's take a look at the Dow and see whether it did uh, what the uh, overall S&P did. Notice trading below the 200 day moving average had the death cross take place where the 30 went through the 50 and we see that we are sitting uh, somewhere near an old support line that I had drawn in from some time ago and we did end up with a slightly higher high than we had on Friday and, and we ended up with a positive day out of the Dow after the same number of days down that we have been seeing in the SPX. Next let's take a look at the NASDAQ and see exactly where the NASDAQ went and oh it knows its direction and it is down. Again, had the cross, trading below the 200 day moving average. We are in a down trend, down cycle, except for Friday, where we had what looks like a reversal signal where we got a higher high. Oh, we did get a lower low, didn't we? But we ended up in a positive uh, candlestick for the day. Confirmation of a higher high, higher low on Monday could give us uh, some kind of rally week as we have a shortened week and a fr shortened week on uh, shortened day on Friday also as we don't have a full day of trading between uh, uh, after the Thanksgiving holiday. 
Next, let's take a look at the Russell. Very similar to what we've been seeing. A breakdown, downtrend, been in a downtrend for a long, long time, basically since September. So the post uh, 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 do, uh, election blues are taking place. We really didn't expect this until after the first of the year, as we are in what should be the strongest months of the year. And we're not seeing that as we're getting our reaction to fiscal cliff. We did get a little bit of a rise on Friday, and what brought that rise up on Friday? was Harry Reid came out with an announcement that they were not going to wait until the very last minute to take care of the fiscal cliff and they would work very hard on bipartisan passing of that particular problem. All right, looking at the indexes for the year, we see that for the week, look at the change. All those are negative numbers in the Dow, NASDAQ, S&P 500, Russell 2000. So for the week, the market went down. Percentage changes, anywhere from 1.4% on the S&P to 2.4% on the Russell, which certainly led us down. Notice the year to date, we are still in positive numbers. NASDAQ still almost up, almost 10%. S&P up 8%. Look at the Dow, up only 3%. Russell up 4.8%. So we've seen a major, major pullback for the year as we head into these Thanksgiving holidays. Well, let's take a look and see how much fear there is in the market. Looking at the VIX, you see we are smack dab in the middle of what one would call our normal range. Not a lot of fear in the market, just a very nice, steady pullback. Uh, in reaction to some of the news. And oh, well, we have now know who the president's going to be. The other thing that we had going on is that we saw corporate earnings having some difficulties. As we see our major companies having problems with what one might concern is an international problem with uh, Europe in recession. So uh, having its effect on the market, a one that we probably did not expect. And there we are. Notice there's our range, 20 to 15. And we see we're right smack in the middle, right around 16. So the VIX, not a lot of fear in the market. Let's take a look at the bond market. Oh, no big surprise. As the market pulled back, which way did the bonds go? Up. So with a reversal, what can we expect? Here's a potential thing for you to look at as a potential trade. This should pull back as we get a, a uh, gain in the market. So potential for the bonds to be very near that previous high of 127.35. So watch that carefully. Look for your signal. Looking for lower highs and lower lows on the bond market. Let's take a look at the financials and see what happened to them. As the markets go down, which way would you expect the financials to go? Well, let's see what happens. Uh, there we go. Looking at the financials, well, it did exactly what we expected. Pulled back, but oh, look at that relative strength. While the S&P is uh, well below the 200-day moving average, look at this. Sitting still above that 200-day moving average as QE3 shines nicely on the financials, and they're holding their own just fine. All right, next let's take a look at oil. Looks like it's going nowhere. It's kind of a uh, uh, chart where you might be looking at uh, some kind of strategy where you expect a stock to go nowhere and take advantage of theta to uh, pull some money out of oil. Next look at gold. Gold pulling back with the overall market. Uh, the international monetary uh, constant gold has been pulling back. Did not get it back up near its previous highs. And as far as Friday, what kind of volume did we have as the market uh, 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 began its little bang up? Look at that. We got a higher high and an outside day on increased volume. That should mean something to you. For those of you that are uh, interested in technical analysis, that looks very much like a buy signal. Stocks to watch. For those of you that are gold members, stick around. We'll take a look at what we expect this week out of the SBX. We'll look at uh, our favorite stocks to watch, and we'll see exactly where we think the overall market is headed for the next week. All right, with that thought, this is Butch Shorak. It's Monday, November 19th, 2012. Have a very happy, happy Turkey Day. And for those of you that would like to see more free videos from Options University, go to www.optionsuniversity.com forward slash uh, free gold and with that thought ladies and gentlemen thank you on thanksgiving monday